Hey guys, it's Hayden here, and welcome to day two of Top Dogtober, where we bring you an 11 plus video guide every single day of October. Now, before I jump into today's lesson, I must remind you of our amazing deal that we've got on our website right now for our 11 plus preparation resources. If you're not too sure what they are, let me show you. So our 11 plus preparation resources are a set of video lessons, premium video lessons that we release every single week on our website for maths, English, nonverbal and verbal reasoning. Now they even come complete with a little homework task that you can download to practice what we've been doing in that lesson. And even a walkthrough video of that homework task as well if you get a bit stuck. Now the best bit is this, if you use my discount code, vote Hayden, you will get 15% off of our annual price. And if you're interested in doing that, guys, check out the pinned comment in the description. It will take you to our website where you can do that. Now, diving into today's lesson. First of all, let's recap with uh, Dylan's video from yesterday, the question that was at the end for you to solve. It was an odd one out question, and the answer was D. Did you get it? The answer was D because the other four figures had a line of symmetry, either horizontally or vertically through the middle, whereas D didn't because of these little figures here, which made them not symmetrical. So moving on to today's lesson. Today's lesson is all about a question type that we like to call most alike. Now in these most alike questions, you're given two, sometimes three figures on the left-hand side, and you have simply got to pick one of the figures from the right, A, B, C, D, or E, which best fits that group. Now, I like to think of it that like these guys are in a club, you know? This is the cool club over here, and these guys over here, they wanna be in the cool club, all right? And we've gotta pick the best fit for that cool club which you can be in if you really want to as well. So the way to do that is to think about similarities and differences of the figures on the left. Now, anything that they have in common, we're going to say is a rule. That makes a rule for being in that club. And anything that is different about them means it doesn't matter. So therefore, we're not gonna be picky. If they also have a different feature in that way, then it doesn't matter. We're just looking for those similarities. So first thing I noticed straight away is, look, on the left, all four of these are made of squares. Whereas on the right, all four of these are made of triangles. So it clearly doesn't matter what shape you are, but it does matter that all four of the shapes are the same. Okay, so if I go through, I can get rid of D really obviously, right? Because it's not made of the same shapes, it's a mixture of shapes. And I can also kind of get rid of A because even though it's a triangle, I can tell from my example of triangles that they must also be facing the same way. It's not quite the same if it's been rotated. I'm gonna get rid of A, it's not the best fit. Okay, it was a bit of a trick question, a trick answer, a trap for you there. And I also noticed with C, it doesn't fit my number. Do you notice I said we need four of each shape? We've got three on the left and a big one to the right. Well, C only has two to the left and a big one to the right, so it doesn't fit. It's not coming in the cool club, guys. Now we've got B and E left. Sometimes when you're down to two answers, the best thing to do is to actually look at them. And I noticed that the shading's very different in B and E. So I go back and I look, okay, in my cool club, was there any kind of similarity with their shading? Well, not between them, but within the figures themselves, I noticed that the center little shape had the same shading as the big one to the right. And it happened again with the triangles. Aha, we found another rule. The center shape must be the same as the big one to the right. Now in B, it's black and white, so that doesn't work. And it leaves us, leaves us with E, where fingers crossed if we've been correct in our thinking, it's gonna work, and of course it does. We've got uh, vertical lines in the middle and on the shape to the right. Amazing, that's how we do it. So thinking of clubs, you guys are gonna have a go at this one in a second, but you'll notice that we've got three figures to the left this time. Doesn't matter, it's just more information, more things for you to compare to find those similarities and differences. So what I want you to do is pause this video and have a go at picking A, B, C, D, or E, which is most alike the three figures on the left and can fit the cool club. Okay, here we go guys, are you ready? So the similarities are as follows. In the three figures on the left, all of them have five squares and four dots. Now what doesn't matter about them is the way they're all joined up, these squares. Because in the middle we've got a square in the, we've got, sorry, on the left we've got a square in the middle where everything's coming out from the center. The next one, it's kind of like a train. They're all just joined up one, one to the other and the last one's a bit of a mixture of them. So that doesn't matter. It just matters that there's five squares, four dots. A is not right, it's got four squares. B's got six squares. C doesn't even have any dots, so that can't be right. D's got six squares, and E fits the bill perfectly. It's got five, uh, five squares and four dots. E, you can join the cool club, we'll, we'll allow it. On to the next question. This time you get no help from me whatsoever, so I'm gonna ask you to pause this video and give yourself, I don't know, 
30 seconds or so to see if you can pick which of the figures on the right fits the group the best. Off you go. Okay, did you solve it? Let's see. So what do we need here? So it doesn't matter what shape it is, but it does matter that all three of the shapes are the same. So I'm going to get rid of B because it goes circle, square, circle. Silly answer. Trap answer. We get rid of it. Whatever. Um, but I also noticed that something about something interesting about the shading. So the two shapes to the left and right, or to the ends, I should say, um, have a line in them. And the center shape is made by combining those two outside shapes. For example, on the left of the circles, I have a line like this. On the right of the circles, I have a line like this. And when you combine them together in the same space, they make what you get in the center. It happens here as well. We've got a, uh, a line on the top left, which we have in the center. We have a line in the bottom right of the other side, which we have in the center. It's a combination. So that's what we're going to do. A, we can get rid of because if we combined the outsides, then that's what we'd get in the center. But we clearly don't have that. It's more like uh, been rotated. It's like an X, not a plus. So that's wrong. C is definitely wrong. I don't have to check this one because look, if I combined the two outsides, I certainly wouldn't get this in the middle. What we can see that's happened here is if those those two figures were the other way around, it would be a really good fit. So that's a really good trap answer that we're going to avoid because we don't want to fall into the traps, do we, guys? Um, D is, is, is going to be our answer because the two uh, triangles on the outside, when combined, if I combine those uh, bits of shading, I'm going to get that cross in the middle. And just to prove to you, look at E. Do I have to say much for E? If you combine those the top and bottom, would you get what was in the center? Of course not. You'd have got a cross. That makes no sense at all. So D, you're in the club. You're a cool kid. We'll allow, that, allow you in as well. So guys, I'm going to leave you here, okay? Because I've got a question for you to have a go at. And you can leave a comment with your answer. And you can also check out the answer in tomorrow's video where Dylan will be running through what the answer is. Now, I will just say this is one of the hardest questions. I, I tested this on Dylan. He couldn't do it. So, you know, just don't believe him tomorrow when he says he can because he couldn't do it. He was like, nope, this is too hard for me. I can't do it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to check out our 11 plus preparation resources. You can use my discount code, vote Hayden, to get yourself 15% off. And also, put Dylan one step closer to that forfeit because I don't want to do it. See you later, guys.